everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make Turkish bread. You will need 500 grams of white flour, 400 ml of lukewarm water, yeast, sugar, salt, powdered milk. First, uh, in the water, we will add 3 teaspoons of instant yeast, 1 teaspoon of sugar, and 2 to 3 teaspoons of the flour that we already have. We will mix that together and leave it to rise in a warm place for approximately 40 minutes. We'll add the powdered milk, on the two tablespoons, half a tablespoon of salt and mix it well with the flour. We will make well in the center and then add the fermented yeast and mix everything together. This dough is very sticky and very soft unlike normal doughs. So we will mix everything together And then we will start kneading the dough in a different way. We will uh, bring it to the top and then slap it back and re keep repeating that until the dough becomes more elastic and the gluten strands form. Now we'll cover it with a plastic wrap so as not to stick to any fabric wraps if we did that and we'll leave it uh, in a warm place for an hour to an hour and a half until it doubles in size. After an hour and a half you can see that the dough has risen quite well. Just gonna remove the plastic wrap. We'll put some flour on the surface that we will work on and then we will try and remove the dough, our bench top Try not to knock the air out of it. Put some flour on the surface and then cut it in half. And we will put each half in a, in a tray that is already lined up with parchment paper. Now we'll just uh, uh, flour our hands and then try and spread and stretch the dough to a circle without knocking the air out of it. So very gently we'll just keep on stretching the dough. I'll leave one uh, dough without um, any toppings and for the other one I'm just gonna wet my hands and pat the water into the surface of the dough and then sprinkle it with um, nigella seeds and with sesame seeds. And then again pat them uh, to the dough use with a wet hand. I'll bake the loaves uh, in an oven at 220 degrees until they're golden brown from the top and the bottom. And here's the final results. I hope that you enjoyed uh, this recipe. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and keep in touch with me via Facebook, Instagram and my blog. See you next time. Bye.